Hi and welcome to another video. Today we'll overclock and undervolt the RTX 4060 mobile, which I got in the HP Omen 16. And um, yeah, I'll show you the results that I got and the settings in Afterburn. So this Afterburner with this tool you can overclock and undervolt and overclock and undervolt simultaneously. How is this working? I will change to profile uh, one. So let's look into. We got here the curve editor and we can set the frequency and the voltage um, with STG plus L and this will set the GPU to 920 5 millivolts and 2600 megahertz. And what's default? We'll look into it. So we can revert anytime. We revert it and look in the curve editor. And in the curve editor, we got 2340 megahertz and 925 millivolts. As the GPU is running on 1000 millivolts by default and is clocking at around 2505 megahertz. Um, so it's clocked a little bit lower than the 2550 megahertz, but that's no problem. So we have to make sure that we know the voltage and the megahertz that the card is running at actually. At default, so to say, and since we know that it's running at 2505 megahertz and 1000 millivolt, we can then select a voltage like 925 millivolts and push it to the desired megahertz, for example, 2605 megahertz, and then we um, press shift and push down this curve like this so this maximum must be under this set voltage and that frequency that we want so we got this and then we apply so as you see here is uh, mm, that megahertz and so that voltage and the card will go no further than this so the maximum frequency will be 2600 roundabout and the max voltage will be 925 millivolts what we can do further is we can select a current frequency and the current voltage and press Aster um, control, sorry, Aster is in German. Press control plus L, and we will get this uh, yellow indicator that will indicate that the GPU will run all the time. Remember this, even if it's um, idling at 2595 megahertz and 925 millivolts. So that's important and we apply okay so then let's look at the profile that i got and this is the uh, first profile it the curve is a little bit off so i made the control plus l trick and the gpu is running at 925 millivolts and uh, 2595 megahertz so profile 2, the GPU is running at 925 millivolts and 2640 megahertz. Profile 3, we increase the uh, megahertz by 40. And uh, remember, these profiles are mm, all applicable. So these are all stable profiles that I got here. So it's a huge bump in performance because we got 925 millivolts which is 75 millivolts 
button lower than default. And at the same time, we could increase the core frequency by 349. That's a very, very huge overclock for modern uh, GPUs. And yeah, that's uh, around 10% performance. And the card is pulling actually a little um, less wattage. And we then couldn't increase furthermore. So, um, no, we could increase actually. Ah, okay. We couldn't increase uh, the mm, megahertz uh, at 925 millivolts, but we could increase it at 950 millivolts. So, we could increase it to 2750 millivolts. Uh, megahertz, and uh, we got 950 millivolts, which is still 50 millivolts less than default. Why are uh, am I undervolting at the same time? This is because when you don't undervolt, the efficiency will suffer, and uh, you will get higher clocks at um. A higher f um, voltage, but uh, since uh, we are applying a lower voltage, the clocks on the lower voltage are more efficient, so to say. So um, the real clocks are higher if you do undervolting at the same time. Um, they are actually not higher, um, and they are not read out higher. But the efficiency on the same clock is higher. Um, a little bit hard to describe, but uh, I learned this lesson with my Radeon GPU, and I think that it applies to NVIDIA too. So, okay, let's move on. And the highest I could achieve, actually, uh, I could have achieved um, something higher, but I uh, was afraid it wouldn't go any higher, so I left it there. Um, I have to say it's no problem when the GPU crashes, mm, but I don't like it. Um, it uh, costs me time and um, nerves and so on. So um, yeah, we are at around one volt. And 2775 megahertz, which is um, around 250 megahertz higher than default, which is quite a lot. And this translates to. Okay, let's close it. This translates to. Where do I got it? Mm. Uh, four percent more performance in Cyberpunk 2077. So in Cyberpunk 2077, we got 60.42 FPS with um, the Maxo C and 5,400 uh, 58 um, FPS with the default profile at performance. So, um, and the default profile on performance is much higher than the balance profile, um, which is clocking at around 2200 megahertz. So, keep that in mind. But on the performance profile, we got 58 FPS. And with the overclock, we got 60.42. And this is exactly 4%. More or less, okay. So let's move on. That was Cyberpunk. Um, yeah, the frequency bump is around 10%. So, with a um, frequency bump, you won't get exactly the same performance um, from the numbers like um, the frequency increase. 
it's uh, quite normal for GPUs. Mm, and it's nonetheless a 4% uh, performance bump, which is a quite good result for a modern uh, GPU. So let's go on. Okay, so this is Baldur's Gate. And it's got, oh uh, yeah, it got 2520 megahertz on the performance profile with auto settings. So no settings change and it hovered around 93 watts with 97 FPS. So with the overclock we got 2760 megahertz and 97 watts and 102 fps and this translates to i didn't make a screenshot of this but we can interpret the calculator this is 102 fps divided by 97 This is 5% increase. And if you're overclocking or undervolting, one tip I can give you is to use TimeSpy because it's, uh, it's a very good stability test. And for TimeSpy, we got, um, we got, we got, 10,505 points and this was with the first overclocking profile with 2,600 MHz. Um, yeah. Let's go to the desktop and bring that up. And on default we got 10,400 graphics cores. Yep. And let's compare it with other GPUs. So the RTX 4060, the desktop one, is at around 10,465 graphics cores. And it's clocking at 2.7 gigahertz. So with our overclock, we are actually clocking higher. So with our highest overclock we are actually clocking higher and got a score of of 10,870 so we gained 5% and we Excuse me. Um, what did I want to say? And we are around 40, 60 performance. We are even beating it. So we are around Radeon RX 7600 performance. Or a little bit slower than a 2080 Super. Which was a very good GPU a few years ago. So yeah, um, one finding that I made is um, with the newest H HP Roman updates, we got 11,000 CPU score and before the update it was at around, uh, is this the correct one? No, that's not the correct one. It was around 9,000 CPU score. I don't know what they did to the GPU, but uh, CPU, sorry, but the performance was increased dramatically. So this is it for today, and have a good time, and see you later. Bye bye.